The application by former Deputy Speaker Farah Malim seeks an order to secure election materials used by the REBC to conduct the Garissa Township constituency election on August 8th. Malim, through lawyer Chahilu Edwin, is seeking to overturn Garissa Town MP Aidan Dwala's win on grounds that the transmission of results was jumbled with uncertainties and clouded with irregularities. Election Court Judge Justice Hedwing Ongudi has ordered both the REBC and Aidan Dwale to respond to the application within seven days. The court will hear the full application on the 3rd of October after all parties in the petition have responded. Elsewhere, a former employee of the National Bank of Kenya has denied 11 counts of fraudulent false accounting contrary to the law. Dennis Oduor Chumbe and two other employees of National Bank are said to have, with intent to defraud, made entries showing loans amounting to over 1 billion shillings had been repaid at the National Bank of Kenya along Harambe Avenue in Nairobi. Chief Magistrate Francis Andai ordered that Chumbe deposit a cash bill of 2 million shillings to gain his freedom and issued a warrant of arrest for his two co-accused persons who did not appear in court. Hearing is set for the 4th of October. And finally, the hearing of the two-thirds gender case by Women Candidates Network of Kenya failed to kick off as some parties are yet to file their responses. In the petition, women who lost in the last general election argue that the Senate and the National Assembly are unconstitutional considering they do not meet the two-thirds gender rule. Those women, especially in political arena should be considered first. That is our priority. We know there's a section in constitution that bars any candidate who vied from being nominated. The same human beings who came up with that can repeal it and top up so that it gives a, 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 a chance to these women who vied. Gladys Gashanje, NTV.